Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sanjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about the phases of the compiler. So what are the phases of the compiler? See here. The first point, the first point, compiler is a huge, compiler is a huge piece of the software. Huge piece of the software. Okay. The second point, in the design of compiler, the design of compiler, the total program is divided into modules. The total program, the entire program is divided into modules. And each module is known as, and each module is known as piece of the compiler, one piece of the compiler, okay? That means compiler is a huge piece of software. And when we'll pass one program to the compiler, the compiler will divide, the compiler will divide the entire program into some modules and each module and each module is called as each module is called as one piece of the compiler okay see what are the meanings actually see here this is the actually this is called as the source program source program okay when we will pass one source program when we will pass one source program this is called as the compiler this is the called as the compiler means each piece. This is the piece of the compiler. This one is called as the piece of the compiler or we can say like module of the compiler, okay? This is the first module or first piece of the compiler or first phase of the compiler. This is called the second phase of the compiler. This is called the third phase of the compiler, okay? So this one is called as one piece. We can say one piece or we can say module or we can say phase of the compiler, okay? Later we'll try to understand what are the meanings of, means uh, piece of the compiler or uh, phases of the compiler, later we'll try to understand, okay? Means when we'll pass the source program, source program, the source program is divided into some modules. This is one module, this is the second module, this is the third module and onwards, okay? Later we'll, later we'll discuss. What is the next point? The next point is the error detected, the errors detected by the compiler, the errors detected by the compiler are classified, are classified into three types. The errors detected by the compiler are classified into three types. First one is called as lexical error. The second error is called as syntax error. The third error is called as semantic error, okay? So what are the meanings of these? errors means lexical error, syntax errors, semantic errors, and what are the meanings of piece of the compiler or pages of the compiler. Now we'll try to understand with the help of this diagram. See. See, this is my compiler. This is actually the compiler. This is the compiler, okay? These are the six phases of the compiler. These are first phase, second phase, third phase, fourth phase, fifth phase, and sixth phase. So there are total six phases of the compiler. There are total six phases of the compiler. Compiler means we can say like this one the whole one is called as, this is called as compiler, okay? So there are generally six phases of the compiler. This is called the first phase. This is called second phase. This is called third phase. This is called fourth phase. This is called fifth phase. This is called sixth phase of the compiler, okay? Now we'll try to understand what is the meaning of this compiler. What are the meanings of these phases of the compiler? See, first one, first one is the source program. See, when we'll pass, when we'll pass one source program or this is called as also high level language, or we can say this is called as high level language. For example, we'll pass one source program like int a comma b comma c. Int a comma b comma c. 
Okay, when we will pass one source program or high level language, the compiler, this is called as, this one is called as the first phase of the compiler. First phase or we can say like first module also, first phase of the first phase of compiler. Okay. So the first phase of the compiler, the first phase of the compiler, this is called what? Lexical analysis phase. Lexical analysis phase. This lexical analysis phase, the lexical analysis phase means will convert this source program, the source program or high level language into tokens, into token. So what are the meanings of tokens? Later means in the next class, we'll discuss about what are the meanings of tokens and how the lexical analysis will convert the source program or high level language to tokens. In the next class, we'll try to understand with the help of example. Now, but in this class, we'll just discuss about the some terminologies of the means the phases of the compiler. Means uh, how means uh, a compiler will convert a high level language or source program to target program or a high level language to assembly language. Okay or machine dependent code. So the first phase of the compiler is called as lexical analysis. When we'll pass one of the source program, the source program, the lexical analysis phase will convert the source program into number of the tokens, number of tokens. So tokens now, tokens are now, tokens are the input. Now tokens are the input of for the syntax analysis phase, okay? So finally, lexical analysis will convert the source program, will convert the source program into tokens. And if there are, when at the time of converting from, at the time of converting from source program to tokens, source program to tokens by lexical analysis, if there are some errors, if there are some errors in the first page, if there are some errors in the first pages, this is called as if means there are some errors or some errors detected in the first phase means lexical analysis phase. This error is called as lexical error. This error is called as lexical error. And this lexical error will handled by will handled by error handler phase. Error handler phase will handle lexical error in the lexical analysis phase. Okay. So now tokens, now tokens are the output of lexical analysis, but tokens are the input for syntax analysis phase means in the second phase. So the second phase of the compiler, this is called as the second phase of the compiler, second phase of the phase of compiler. This is called second phase of the compiler. The second phase of the compiler is called as syntax analysis. The second phase of the compiler is called as syntax analysis. The syntax analysis phase will convert the tokens, tokens into parse tree, tokens into parse tree. If there are some errors, if there are some errors present in the syntax analysis phase, this error is called as syntax error, okay? So if syntax error is detected in syntax analysis phase, what, at the time of converting from tokens to parse tree, so error handler phase will handle the syntax error in the syntax analysis phase, okay? So this is called as the second means syntax analysis phase. So next one, the third phase of the compiler, the third phase of the compiler is called as semantic analysis. The third phase of the compiler is called as semantic analysis. The semantic analysis phase of the compiler or third phase of the compiler will convert, will convert the parse tree, will convert the parse tree into annotated parse tree, will convert from parse tree to annotated parse tree. So similarly, similarly, if there are some errors like, if there are some errors detected in the semantic analysis phase, this error is called as semantic error. This error is called as semantic error and the error handler phase will handle this semantic error, okay? So 
the first phase is called as first phase of the compiler is called as lexical analysis the second phase of the compiler is called as syntax analysis and the third phase of the compiler is called as semantic analysis so finally semantic analysis will generate the annotated parse tree okay now we'll see the next phase of the compiler see the next phase of the compiler is called as the fourth phase this is called as the fourth phase of the compiler this is called intermediate code generator intermediate code generator the intermediate code generator or fourth phase will convert the annotated parse tree into three address code into three address code okay this is called as the fourth phase of the compiler okay next phase is called phase of the compiler is called as or fifth phase this is called as code optimization phase code optimization phase or fifth phase of the compiler the fifth phase of the compiler will convert will convert the three address code will convert from three address code to optimized intermediate code will convert from three address code to optimized intermediate code okay the next one sixth phase the sixth phase of the compiler the sixth phase of the compiler is called as code generation phase code generation phase will convert the code generation phase will convert the optimized intermediate code to target program or we can say like assembly language or we can say like assembly language so these are called as the phases of the compiler six phases of the compiler and another one is the symbol table we, we can see here the symbol table is connected to all phases we will connect it to all phases means lexical analysis phase syntax analysis phase semantic analysis phase intermediate code generator code optimization code generation like this okay the so symbol table symbol table means symbol table stores what is the meaning of symbol table in the means so what is the role of symbol table in uh, in the compiler actually it stores it stores means all operations whatever operations uh, means happened in happened in Uh, means all phases of the compiler generally it stores means how many memory will be required uh, means uh, uh, how many memory will be required how many space will be required means uh, for each means uh, program or each variable like this uh, so finally symbol table will store all informations regarding all phases of the compiler okay so in the next class actually we'll discuss about what is the meaning of symbol table how symbol table symbol table actually uh, stores Uh, and uh, stores all information about the phases of the compiler and each phase of the compiler also what is the role of each phase or each and means uh, analysis phase what is the meaning of uh, lexical analysis phase and how it converts a source program to tokens we will discuss in very detail in the upcoming classes so finally so finally uh, these are called as the phases of the compiler so final these are called as the phases of the compiler the all phases of the compiler means uh, lexic first phase is the called as the lexical analysis phase this lexical analysis phase will convert from source program or high level language to tokens the second phase the second phase of the compiler means syntax analysis phase the syntax analysis phase will convert from tokens to parse tree means uh, and the error and the error detected in this phase is called as syntax error and the error detected in lexical analysis phase is called as lexical analysis lexical error and the third uh, third phase of the compiler will convert from parse tree to annotated parse tree and the error and the error generated from uh, error generated from semantic analysis phase is called as the semantic error the fourth phase of the compiler will convert from annotated parse tree to three address code and the fifth phase of the compiler means code optimization phase will convert from three address code to optimized intermediate code and the code generation and the code generation of the sixth phase of the compiler will convert from optimized intermediate code to target program or assembly language so these are completely means uh, all are the phases of the compiler okay so in the compiler design in the compiler design will read about all the phases we will read all the phases of all the phases means lexical analysis syntax analysis semantic analysis intermediate code generation generator or generation or code optimization and code generation 
while we will complete complete code generation then the compiler design ends these are called as the syllabus these six phases are called as the these six phases are called as the uh, means the syllabus of the compiler design when means we will start from lexical analysis and we will end and we will end on code generation phase of the compiler so these are complete syllabus of the compiler design okay so in the next class we will discuss about the detail of detail of lexical analysis and how it converts from lexi means so source program to tokens and what is the meaning of lexical error and how syntax analysis phase will converts from tokens to past and what are the meanings of syntax error and details in means so we will read we will read in very detail about all the phases of the compiler in the upcoming classes okay thanks for watching